we get started with our first keynote speaker, I wanted to uh, give you a brief uh, update on the work of FrancisSchaeferStudies.org and share our goals and vision for the future. Um, primarily, just because that you know, this is a this is a homegrown work. Uh, it's not uh, funded by anything. It's not uh, uh, being uh, uh, brought about by any specific uh, uh, ministry uh, per se. It is actually just the conviction of two guys. That's what started out uh, as FrancisSchaeferStudies.org. Um, this is our first year. This completes our first year of, of the site. And uh, as we celebrate Francis Schaeffer's 100th birthday, we're also celebrating our first year uh, being together. And we launched the site on January 1st, 2011, and our release party was on Francis Schaeffer's birthday last year. And uh, it's safe to say that we'll be celebrating every year from now on and growing uh, what we're already doing. And uh, you know our presence online uh, is is uh, growing tremendously. Uh, we've had a lot of people on our group. There's a lot of people following our pages. A lot of people on Twitter, uh, and we're touching people uh, internationally and engaging in discussions uh, internationally. And, this, and that's kind of interesting too. Specifically on Twitter, there are a lot of people from Brazil. You know, uh, it's okay with me if we look around. It's like, well, there's not so many people here today, uh, but. Uh, you know what, we're doing something important, and uh, we're doing something that we feel a strong conviction about. And so, uh, just to share a little bit about um, how this came about, uh, first off, Pastor Tony asked me uh, at one time to begin teaching a series for Sunday School on true spirituality. And, um, I, you know, I'm kind of uh, the, the Schaefer geek, if you will, at church, and so uh, I, I, I don't... Uh, I don't waffle from that because there's strong reasons why I, why I feel uh, uh, very uh, earnestly about the, the, the need for teaching Schaefer, but specifically true spirituality. And so as we begin to work on that, um, I was uh, you know, just be preparing to start the class, and Jason and Carrie uh, Scheitel uh, had been visiting Labrie at that time, and they visited the church that uh, a lot of the people from Labrie attend called Trinity Presbyterian in Rochester, Minnesota. And um, as they attended that, they realized that this was the type of church they'd like to attend regularly. But they didn't know if that one existed here in town, uh, in Kansas City. And so uh, they began to look as soon as they got back. And uh, they, little, did they, little, they did, excuse me, little did they know that uh, Pastor Chris Harper that was at Trinity also went to seminary with uh, the pastors at, at Redeemer. And so they found uh, the church uh, online, and uh, then they also began to look at the Sunday school classes and what was being taught. And that shows you a little bit something about their convictions. They wanted to see what was being taught. And uh, they come across this class called True Spirituality, and they showed up on the first class. And so, uh, so there you go. There's two guys coming together, and God, God providing at just the right time. And uh, it just, I mean, if, if you go and you talk with uh, Jason long enough, you realize he's kind of my twin. Um, he's, he's a programmer. He's a, he's a, a passionate reader. He's a passionate scholar. And he, he loves Schaefer. And uh, so him and I hit it off right away. And we decided, you know what, we're going to study Schaefer. We're going to do it. But we're going to, let, let's put it online. Because we're going to do this anyway. Why not share it with everybody? And so out of that uh, motivation and the very uh, simple mode of things, we begin to do that and begin to put studies online and begin to put uh, uh, the material. But we wanted to provide a comprehensive resource. And the reason for that is that if you go and you look online, at least before uh, we came about, uh, you won't find a complete list of Schaefer's works anywhere. Uh, that was one thing that we discovered right away, that there, the, here this man who contributed so much to the evangelical world uh, did not have a comprehensive list online uh, until recently, and actually uh, L. Rush Bush uh, Center for Faith and Culture is, is providing a comprehensive list now. And then even on Labrie, you do have uh, s segments of those, but they're primarily focused on what's current and uh, what's the most popular, obviously. And a lot of the stores that are online are basically, you know, they put on the store the items that are selling. You know, so the, the most popular works by Schaefer are present. Uh, even on Google Books, you'll have uh, 
you know, the, the book listings, but you may not have a comprehensive <coughs> review of those things. And so that was uh, something that we wanted to tackle. And so what we began to do is, is, is uh, compile a database. And being both programmers, we began to pursue how can we put that online? And uh, so then I actually began hosting a site and, and uh, we built the Francis Schaeffer database. And so really at this point, it wasn't too long before we, we uh, realized that we had uh, the largest uh, Schaefer database uh, online. And so that's saying something right away. Uh, and we didn't do much. I mean, we just simply put it all together and began to compile the information, uh, collect all the ISBN information, the years, and things of that nature. And so then now our next uh, ideas, our next phases for the site is to grow that and begin to feed into that and provide more accessible content. And really, our goals is to pass the, the works of Schaefer on to the next generation, as well as make his thought more easily accessible for the general public. Uh, if you think about it, you know, 30-somethings right now, you can talk to a lot of 30-somethings and they won't know who Schaefer is. Uh, and, it's, and that's something I think Donald Williams has had personal experience with. He was saying that uh, it was kind of a wake-up call to be presenting in a classroom on humanities and mention the name Francis Schaefer and no one knew who that was. How have we forgotten? How, how have we done that? And so that was uh, kind of our beginning motivation. But then we're also now working on videos. And you'll see this more as we, as we work on the content for the site through the next year. Um, we, we filmed a, a class at, at Redeemer, it's a Sunday school class, on the life and works of Francis Schaeffer and Edith as well. And so uh, basically that amounts to about 52 works that we went through in the class and we filmed. And now we're doing secondary filming and editing on those and we'll start pr uh, presenting those throughout the year. And then also we hope to take the true spirituality study that I did and begin to also put that on there. But you know, one thing when you're doing this, you know, I, I'm a, I, I consider myself to be a pretty smart guy, but I'm not a professional scholar. And so what we would like to do is begin to partner with other scholars like Dr. Uh, uh, Williams and uh, you know, Douglas Screwtice and others who have written more voluminously on Schaefer and have that sort of connection with his works in a, at a deeper scholarly level so that they can uh, begin to uh, provide insight. So that's something that we hope to, hope to do in the future and we're still uh, discussing all that but uh, our goal is to, is to branch out and, and, and be more of a service. Uh, our, it's not just about us but really, it's to, we want to be a service to the Francis Schaeffer community and to the Labrie community and provide content that is easily accessible for people to pick up Schaeffer and begin in, be inspired to read. Because if they, if they see a video and it moves them and inspires them, then perhaps maybe they will uh, go a little deeper. Maybe they will read. Maybe they will take uh, the time to uh, get deeper involved uh, with the content of his thought.